Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna to talk about the Super 35 mode or crop mode on Sony full frame cameras. I'm gonna go over why it's so awesome and why you should be using it for video. Now this is one of my favorite things about shooting video on Sony full frame cameras, such as my Sony a7 III. When you go into Super 35 mode, it changes your Sony full frame camera to work as an APS-C sensor camera. So instead of using the full sensor on your camera, you're using a smaller portion of it. Now that gives you a 1.5 times crop, just like the Sony APS-C cameras. I'll go over the pros and cons in a bit, but right now, let me show you guys what it actually looks like when you use Super 35 mode. So right now, I'm shooting with the Sony FE 28 millimeter f 2.0 lens, and right now, we are in full frame mode. And now, we're in Super 35 mode, and it has a 1.5 times crop, changing the 28 millimeter focal length to 42 millimeters. So if you're using a full frame lens on your full frame camera, you now have two different focal lengths with each lens. So as you saw with this 28 millimeter lens, there's a big difference. 28 millimeters is considered to be wide angle. So you actually get a lot more in your shot and it actually makes your background seem further. Whereas with a 42 millimeter, which is closer to 50 millimeters and 50 millimeters is what's more closely to what the human eye sees, it actually creates more background compression bringing that background closer to you. 50 millimeters is also a lot more cinematic. So that 42 millimeter gets you a more cinematic video look when compared to the 28 millimeter. Now with video, you don't really have any loss of quality, at least not really anything that's perceivable in video. Now, when it comes to using Super 35 mode for photos, there are definitely some cons. When it comes to photos, the Sony a7 III in full frame creates a 24 megapixel image. But when you go into Super 35, it actually changes it to a 10 megapixel image. That's a huge difference in image size. But when it comes to video, you actually don't really have a loss, even if you're shooting in 4K. The only type of negative effect that you get on video which is what applies to photos, is that when you're using a full frame lens, you're using less of the actual lens. So there is a small, tiny amount of sharpness reduction. But you only really notice that in photos, when you're doing a side-by-side -side comparison and are super zoomed in, you'll notice that there is maybe some slight sharpness loss, but for video, it's not even perceivable. So you're not really losing out on anything except for background blur. Like an APS-C camera, when you're in Super 35 mode, you have to do the 1.5 times crop rule, which not only does focal length, but also the bokeh, the background blur. It changes your f-stop from a 2.0 on my lens to now a 3.0. So your f-stop and focal length are the only things affected by the 1.5 times crop. The amount of light doesn't change and the image quality for video really doesn't change either. So let me give you guys some examples of when I use the Super 35 mode as opposed to switching lenses that have different focal lengths. The main one is when I'm very limited on time. If I'm doing event videography or music videos by a certain time frame, if I'm using a gimbal, I don't have the time to change lenses and rebalance the gimbal. I'm on the go and I have to kind of make moves quickly. So if I need to do some wide shots, but then I need to go to a tighter shot, then I will definitely use that Super 35 mode. And I've done that a ton with this 28 millimeter lens giving me that wide angle and then that more cinematic punch in shot with the 42 millimeter focal length equivalent. And it's actually helped get a lot of work done at a short period of time. Even using it with my Sony 55 millimeter F1.8 lens, that then gives me a 77.5 millimeter equivalent that is actually even more telephoto that makes it feel a lot more personal, a lot more close. Another great example to use the Super 35 mode for video is if you're doing product shots or some types of macro videography. Different lenses have different minimum focusing distances and some lenses are not very good at getting up close to things. You have to be a good distance back. So if you're using Super 35 mode, you actually get to punch in and simulate that you're closer to your product. Using the 28 to 75 Tamron F2.8 lens at 75 millimeters in Super 35 mode gives me an equivalent to 112.5 millimeters. And here you can see that the Lego is pretty much taking up the majority of the frame, allowing me to be really close up and give it a more macro look. It's something that I've noticed a lot of people don't utilize when it comes to video, but I think it's one of the best tools for you to use, especially if you're on a time crunch. Because of that, when it comes to video, 
I usually only carry two lenses, my Sony FE 28mm f2.0 lens and my Sony 55mm f1.8 lens. With those two lenses alone, I have now equivalent to four different lenses when it comes to focal lengths. And I would say about 99% of the shoots that I do are covered with just those two lenses. When it comes to videography for events, music videos, short films, etc., it really comes in handy. Sometimes I want that wide shot, sometimes I want close, and sometimes I want even more close. Having that ability with Super 35 mode is something that I highly recommend. And if you're shooting with a Sony full frame camera like the a7 III, I think you'll definitely love it if you haven't already been using it. Currently at the end of 2019, the Sony a7 III I think is still the best full frame camera for video. If you're interested in getting this camera or the lenses that I mentioned, I have links in the description where you can purchase it from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.